Hey, Sonny here. Today I'm going to show you how to play uh, a very wonderful uh, worship song called Come As You Are by David Crowder. Um, and the song, he does it in the key of C, but it's really high for for me to sing or for the congregation to sing because it, it starts off really low, but it gets really high. So um, what I would recommend is that you play in the key of A. Which is three, uh, which was one and a half step down from C. So C is on the third fret. So we take one and a half step down, be one, two, three, so it'll be A. So I'm going to show you the song play in the key of A. And if you want to play along with the record, you know, you can uh, just put your capo on the third fret and just play the, uh, the chord I'm showing you. You're still playing the C chord now. You play the A chord, but you're actually playing C because you, you know, you're shifting three three frets up. So again, I'm gonna show you in the key of A, um, which is one and a half step lower than the recording, uh, and David does it in the key of C. Okay, so uh, the intro goes like this. Uh, this is this is the uh, substitute of the piano part on the acoustic. Or you can use electric instead. So that's the first part of it. So what I'm playing is I'm playing the A chord. I put my fingers on the second fret of the D, G, and B string, and I play the open A along those three three uh, three notes together. So make sure you hear the last note, which is which is the second fret of your B string. Play the open D, second fret your D, and while your index finger is on, barring the strings, you play the second fret your G. Okay. And do it again, second fret your D and G. So again, one more time. Okay, next part. And this is a D set D major seventh chord. I'm playing open D string and play the second fret with G and B together. And again, make sure you hear the uh, the second fret of your B string. Uh, and then open uh, D. And then put your finger, index finger, on the second fret of the D, and play that, and play second fret of G, and back to second fret of D, and play the fourth fret of your G. So again, so put it together. So the chords there, uh, before we talk about the chords, let's talk about the pattern. Um, the song is in 6-8. So what it means is that you're playing six, uh, six notes in one measure. Um, and you're playing the eighth note. So what the counting is one, two, three, one, two, three. So uh, basically it's one, two, three, four, five, six. But instead of counting one, two, three, four, five, six, I, I just go one, two, three, one, two, three. So uh, the pattern, I'm just playing the A chord, it goes like this, one, two, one, one, two, three, 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 so it goes down, down, up, down, up, okay, and back to down again. Just go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Once you get that down, you go one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. All right. 
So you go. And sometimes you can just, uh, as long as you count in right, sometimes you can just uh, not not play, not strum it. Just you can just move your hand without touching the string. Kind of keep counting yourself with your hand. So again, it's one, one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, one, two, and three, and one. Okay, um, so that's the pattern. So the first chord is A. Come on, come on, set us free. Wherever you've been at the A again. So that's the first line. So come on, set us Wherever you've been. Okay, the second line is D. A, E, and E sus, and I assume that you know the open acoustic chords. Uh, so D. So when I do the E sus, I play the E major chord first, and basically I play this E major chord, and then I put my pinky on the second fret, adding that note to uh, to the G string, second fret of the G string. the second line. Third line. Come find your mercy. That's a little tricky. Uh, you gotta play you gotta play that walking bass note. So you play the F sharp minor, which is the uh, second fret of your E string, fourth fret of your D and G. I'm sorry, fourth fret of your A and D, and bar the rest of second fret of your G, B and E. But a lot of time I only play the first three strings on top. Play the uh, fourth fret of your E, which is the uh, uh, G sharp, and then you play the A chord. So, so that part goes up. Come find your mercy. Okay. Oh, and then you go D, sinner, come, and then new is A, new. Alright. Next line is D, A, E, F sharp minor. Earth has no sorrow that can't heal. Do it slow again. Earth has no sorrow that heaven can't heal. Uh, last line uh, of verse one. Uh, D A E A. Okay. Earth has no A that E A. So that's the so that's verse one. Uh, and once you play that part, Alright, so that line right there, um, actually there's only two chords, so, so lay down your burdens, you play the D major 7th chord. So you're basically playing the open D string and you play a second fret with G, B, and E together with your index finger. So lay down your burden. Same pattern, strumming. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Lay down your shame. A. Back to A again. And I'll add some uh, uh, embellishment to it. So. so what I play is that I play. A chord and play the and while your fingers are still on the second fret you play the fourth fret on the G string with your uh, ring finger you're still playing second fret on the other strings so, so one two three one and I'll put my ring finger on this fourth fret and you go two three and then you lift that up and you put the, your uh, middle finger on the third fret of your B it's like an A sus Play the A again. Lay down your burden. E major seven. Lay down your shame. Walking up. And the 
next slide is all who are broken. Same thing again, D major seven. All who are broken. Lift up your faith. That's when he goes E major. And then you go back to D major seventh. Sharp minor. Actually, the way I play, I play like this. Oh yeah. So I play kind of like a, a, an extra note to it. So I play the fourth fret. Uh, it's like a broken F sharp minor chord. I play the fourth fret on the D string, and then I play the second fret with G and B together. And I lift up my index finger a little bit, and it's, I'm still playing the second fret with G and the fourth fret with D string, but I'm playing the open B string. And I put a, and I put my index finger back on that uh, second fret with B string and. And, and then play the next part. Okay, so that's what it does. Uh, lay down your, uh, is it old and cold? You're not too far. Lay down your heart. And then you play the D seventh, uh, D major seventh again. Lay down your heart, E major seven. I'm sorry, E major. Come as you are. And D major seven again. E major, D major seven. Now, uh, right there at that part, there's violin going on. I'll show you the violin note as well. You can go. Uh, the violin notes goes like this. So, So the notes are 9th fret of your E string, and then slide up, and then play the 5th fret of your B string, 5th fret of your A, I'm sorry, E string, A note on the E string, which is 5th fret, and the 7th fret of your E, and the next part again, same thing, 9th fret of your E, Fifth fret, fifth fret of your B, and then you go to seventh fret of your B string is there, and then you go to fifth fret of your A, I'm sorry, E string, and then seventh fret of your E. Again, uh, so that's the interlude. That plays over the D seventh, D major seventh chord, and the E major and the D seven, D major seventh. And then verse two, you start over again. So it goes: There's hope, A D A, hope for the hopeless and all those who stray. Line two, verse two is D A and E. Come sit at the table, and the E major takes the grace. And then next line, there's rest for the weary rest that endures this rest for the weary rest that endures so that's F sharp minor so to do the walking bass line so you got the F sharp minor play the G sharp which is 4th fret on the E string and the A chord and then D rest that endures A endures Last line of verse two is D A E A. Earth has no sorrow that heaven can do. Go to chorus again. Lay down, and then goes lay down your burdens, lay down your sh uh, shame again. Uh, the only different part right there uh, at the end, uh, chorus two, you almost do the same thing, but the very part, the very last part, it goes high, really high up. So this part after it goes. So lay down your hurt. Lay down your heart, come as you are, come as you are, from in his arms, come as you are. Okay, 
okay, so that part right there is okay. Come, come as you. So do the same, also the walking part again, but you go F sharp minor, and then you play the. I'll just play the F G sharp single note. You can do it like that. So you F sharp minor, G sharp, just the fourth fret on the E, and then play the A chord. So lay down your. D7, D major 7. They go to A chord. Following his arm. E major. Come as you are. Verse 3 basically the same thing. This joyful A, A D A for the morning will soon be still. And then just um, this exact same chord as verse 2. So that's pretty much the whole song. Uh, again, you can play if you want to play uh, in David Crowder's key. You can just take the chords I show you. You can just move up one and a half step up. So if I'm playing an A, you will play a C. If I play D major seventh. You will play F major seventh. If I play F sharp minor, one, two, three, will be play A minor. If I play eight, if I play E major, you move up one, uh, three step. One, two, three. G major. So that's how you figure out the chords uh, from what I show you in this song. So um, um, sorry, it's a little sloppy. Uh, not very, not good singing. But uh, I just want to show you how to play the chords, and uh, um, and I'm certain, and I'm sure you can do much better than I can play. So uh, thanks for watching.